All right, we're joined here by midfielder Eric Williamson. Eric, congrats on the goal, congrats on the win. Uh, can you just let us know a little bit about how you're feeling? Yeah, I mean, this is something you dream of. It's long rehab, long process coming back, and first game at home, first game of the season. Um, couldn't be happier with the goal. Um, I think the guys came out and really performed today, and, and I think that's what we needed to, you know, set the tone this year and know that, um, you know, not making the playoffs isn't good enough. So it's, you know, we're off to the right start. We'll open it up to questions. Who wants to start? Tyson. Hey, Eric. Um, during your rehab, I imagine there's probably a lot of visualization of, of what the comeback is going to be like. But for that to break through in just the ninth minute of the first game of kind of a new era that's getting going here, um, can you just kind of take us through that moment a little bit? Yeah, I, I, you know, a lot of the rehab is is kind of the mental side. And, and, you know, I think right away it was kind of taking a step back and just taking care of what I need to take care of. And it's on the backside of last year, um, I know that if we made the playoffs, it was going to, you know, slowly get integrated in training and, and you know, going in the film and, and, and seeing the things that is being asked, not only uh, my position, but but of the team. And I think um, Phil came in and, and, you know, right away we met and he set the standard high. And I think, you know, guys guys know that we're here to battle, we're here to win. And I think even a 4-1 win, we're, we're, you know, disappointed we gave a goal up. Um, that's kind of the mentality of the group. And it's... Um, it's great, and, and I, I know it's going to be a big year for us. Guillermo Mota, Univision Portland. I know it's just a small glimpse, first season, first game of the season, but is there a different vibe in the locker room compared to last season or the two seasons ago? Uh, I would say yes, but no. Um, I think we um, all have fought. It's, it's, a, it's a team with not a ton of changes, but the guys who came in, they you know came in seamlessly. They, they came in and, and knew that they wanted to battle, and, and they – you know, have have told us that we're all here to, to to battle together. It's not, you know, hey, I was in, you know, LA last year. I was in Miami last year. It's hey, listen, I'm here now. It's not, you know, dwelling on on not making the playoffs, but knowing that that's not the standard that we um, have here. And and you know, guys just came in to start preseason and uh, on a, on a really high level. And then Eric, just all the blood, sweat, and tears you put in to come back during rehab. Uh, what were the feelings and the emotions like uh, walking out of the tunnel uh, for the opener, obviously? And then just uh, what was the goal like, just thinking about all the hard work you put in? Yeah, I think it was a lot of um, trying to, you know, control those emotions because it, it, it's a lot. It's, um, you know, not only the first game, but, but being at home and in front of, you know, fans that give so much to us. It's, you know, I wanted to go out and, and – make my mark but not go out and you know guns blazing and, and you know something happened so it was um it was good and and i think you know talking to our, our staff they were able to kind of manage that as well um and yeah i mean you couldn't draw it up like i, I, was, I was super excited you could see in the celebration it's you know I, so much that this club's given to me and and um i'm, I'm just happy to play here Eric, you mentioned at Media Day on Tuesday that um, your role this season might look different from game to game. With Evander going out of the starting lineup uh, pre-match, did that put more impetus on you, or did you feel more of an obligation to to get more forward in your midfield role today? Yeah, I mean, we were we were middle warm up, and you know, you kind of look around, and our warm up set based on kind of possession uh, positions and who's playing where, and. You know, I look to the left and it's I, I don't get a certain color bib and I'm like, oh, you know, what's going on? Am I getting scratched? You know, and it's um, and it was just as simple as, hey, you know, you're, you're playing a different role. This is what you have to do. And I think that's, you know, as I spoke on on um, on Thursday was just kind of that's that's what's being asked. I think having the flexibility is, is something that um, I really like to have and, and, and being able to just make a simple switch. And it, it worked in our favor. You know, we didn't want a Vander going out, but at the same time, it's next man up mentality and, and, and knowing that we're all here to work together and, and, and work hard no matter where you're playing. Eric, uh, congratulations on the goal. Um, Phil gave the team a 7 out of 10 today um, with some room to improve. And I'm just curious from your perspective, what would you pick as the things that you would want to see more work put in for the next match? Yeah, I, I think 7 out of 10 is a perfect you know way to rate today. I think we first 30 30 minutes we were you know you can argue a nine out of ten and, and not giving them many chances and it's i think room for improvement is coming out in the second half and, and not allowing them to you know take a breath you know having having them score their goal it's kind of little hey we have hope you know we kind of want to make sure that especially here at home that we're not giving up these um 
I wouldn't call it a soft goal, but just 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 giving up goals as 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 a whole. And you know, I think it comes down to our mentality, but also you know, first game, it's something to learn, and it, it's good that we we're able to um, have that cushion of hey, listen, we know that this isn't good enough, and let's continue to you know get back on where we were. Eric over here, Felipe Ramis, how you doing? Good. First of all, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the goal. And I also wanted to comment on your, you know, on your role as a new, you know, 2024 box-to-box -box midfield that you have become. You looked free tonight, man. You looked like you were comfortable. It looked like you forgot about your injuries. It looked like you're a complete different player. Do you feel like a complete different player after coming back from your injury? Uh, I would say yes, but no. I mean, that's um, – I felt free because um, Phil's put a lot of confidence and trust not only in me but in the group. And, you know, going out there and having the confidence to play, whether you keep the ball, lose the ball, whatever happens, just know that, um, you know, the next way is to come. And I think that's that's something he's, he's preached a lot in preseason, and it's, you know, really rubbed off. I, I don't feel like I have to go out there and everything has to be perfect because it, it, it's not going to be. And – that gives me the freedom and, and, and the confidence to try things and get on the ball and, and ultimately, you know, it's a good goal, but just having that, that, that freedom to be in different areas and, and just kind of work with the guys around me. We'll do one last question online. Justin, go ahead. Thank you so much. Hi, Eric. Thanks for your time. Uh, Justin Ruderman with MLSsoccer.com. Uh, you talked about your emotions with the goal, obviously, but it's been over a thousand days since your last goal, obviously, going through those injuries. I was wondering, can you quickly take us through that journey through each of those ACL tears and, and the last almost three years up until this moment where you score that opening goal on the season opener? Yeah, I mean, I um, talked about it a little in the broadcast of, I think it was May, May of 2021, and that's, you know, pre-Gold Cup being with the national team. It's, it's a lot of... Um, arguably some of the best soccer I've played and it's um, coming back from the first one I you know got a quite a bit of assist but it wasn't you know finishing a playoff and I think it was something that I wanted to bring into my game going into 2023 and then unfortunately an ACL and it's you know now you take a step back and you know talking with the club and people around me I know that's kind of the goal is getting involved